Thanks for watching Down the Road We Go. This is one of our In the Shop series where we're going to check out a mod we've just done to the trailer and we're going to check on two design flaws. One we found in the past and fixed, we're going to check on it. And the other one we found too and we're going to finally get around to fixing it. So come along for the ride as we fix the trailer. Okay, this is the first mod we've done on the trailer in a while. I don't know about you all, but I get tired of scraping bugs off and waxing and getting bugs off and waxing. So we did this to one of our other trailers and we tried a little bit different this time, but I think it came out pretty good. All we're going to have to do now is hose it off, but not with a pressure washer. You can't use a pressure washer on this stuff. What this is, is Duplicolor Custom Wrap Removable Coating. It only comes in this gallon jar, I think it don't it only comes in uh, black, flat black, which is fine with me. Uh, it looks pretty good, I think. And basically what you do is you spray it on and it creates a rubber membrane that you can peel off. Now if you've noticed, it even peels off a of paper because I spilled it down the side there and went ahead and peeled it off just to, so that you can see what, it, what it's called. But instead of spraying it on because I don't have a spray gun, we tried something different. We rolled it on with one of these foam rollers. First we cut it in around the edges with a foam brush. Just dipped it in there and painted it on. And then we rolled it. We rolled it on the, the uh, finish here. Just like that. Now, there is a problem with doing that. You have to let it dry real good between coats and then when you go to put it on again on the second or third or fourth coat you can't go over where you got it wet once you've put it on you can't pull the roller back down if you do it'll melt the, the uh, underneath layers and peel it right off we've had that happen in a few places but we eventually got the hang of how of doing it and uh, I don't know if you can see on the video but you the Montana stickers are still on uh, we did this to our latch last Montana and when we traded in we peeled it off and it looked like it was a day it rolled out of the showroom uh, And it protects from the bugs now uh, The bugs may eat into it here and there and what we, what you do is just kind of uh, Scrape it off a little bit or pull it off and hit it again and you can put more coats on it So I've got four coats on it right now with about a half a gallon used uh, more than likely I will when we get back from our next trip I'll go ahead and Put another coat or two on it just to see how it works so this is our latest mod again it was you know it's a mess to do because we had the black stuff all over the place in the shop but it was better with the roller because i didn't have overspray all over everything so there we go black in the front and it's rubber and it peels right off check it out dupa color custom wrap you can buy it in spray cans, all kinds of different colors. So if you want to do it a different color, I would just go ahead and buy it in spray cans. I think this can was about $75. If you bought enough in spray cans to do it, you're going to, you're going to spend about $150, $170. So it's twice the price or more to do it in spray cans. So that's why we tried it this way. So on to the next fix. Okay, everybody, what we're looking at here is, uh, in case you don't know, we own a Montana High Country, a 2017 Montana High Country 305 RL. So that's rear living room, and the kitchen is in a slide on the passenger side. Uh, we were going to run a, a while back when we first got it, we wanted to run a different satellite cable to make hooking up the satellite a little bit easier. So what we did is we brought it in here. The problem was what we found was these power lines, these are, these are uh, electrical 12 volt and 120 volt power lines, came into the slide and came down and crossed over a bracket. I don't know if you can see that bracket there. Now the bracket holds the gas lines for the kitchen. Uh, not real good. and there was none of this covering on it and it was the the bracket was actually uh, chafing those wires now if you look up in the uh, I think it's the top right corner of your video you see a card 
Uh, you can click on that and it will take you to the original video where we showed what it looked like beforehand and this is and, and after uh, we fixed it. What we're looking at today is just making sure it's not rubbing. It seems to be fine and uh, like I said you can go to that video and take a look when you get done watching this video and see what it looked like beforehand and this is what it looks like afterwards and we just check on it now and then just to make sure that it's not rubbing anything raw back here and it's not because we put this little covering on the on the bracket so on to the next design flaw which is the other side well this side too but we can see it better on the other side and we'll get that fixed here in a minute so we'll go take a look at that okay here's the design flaw we've been talking about you can see right up in here you see they have a nut on the end of this bolt that holds these rollers on. Well that nut doesn't really have a washer on it, it has a built-in washer and that washer is too big and what happens is if you can see it this is all frayed up in here as it rolls in and out it's fraying this material right along through here it's a little tough to see there you can see that it's all frayed right next to where that washer is and it's tearing it up as it goes in and out so what we're going to do now this is on the slide the living room slide we'll show you the bedroom slide it does not have this flaw it's done correctly we have to take some uh, molding off and rubber off of the uh, kitchen slide to see if it's the same way but we'll get around to that so what we're going to do actually put that light up here we're going to replace this nut right here which by the way when I went to loosen it it was already loose and starting to come off we're going to replace it we're going to replace it with the same size nut but with an insert nut so it'll stay on there and it's a lot smaller it does not have that big edge and that should take care of that so we'll get to changing it and show you what it looks like when we get done okay now all we got to do is get up in here and see if we can take it apart and it's a 9 sixteenths the hardest part is getting the wrench on it seems to be enough pressure on that that maybe and this is finger tight it wasn't even tight finger tight okay we've got that off and again as you can see show it to you here it's got that built-in washer on the top of it that's not what you want not even a lock washer so this is a threaded insert you know it's got the plastic insert in it so we won't have to worry about it hitting that and fraying that all out so let's put that back on this is going to be fun Now I got a feeling we don't want it too tight because we don't want to jam these rollers. So all I wanted to do was just get it down to where it's in the plastic collar there. And then that way, it's not going to come off. But it's not too tight. So we'll leave it right there. 
So that ought to get it as far as putting it all back together. So now that is not going to hit this in here. But now we've got to fix this. So what we're going to do is get some of that black sticky tape that, you know, you can use to put anything back together with. And we're going to put some along here and wrap it up around the side you know, where it's all tore up. So we'll get back to you when we start working on that. Okay, so what we're looking at right now, we've, we've fixed both rollers, put new nuts on them so they won't be tearing this up anymore. But again, we have to take care of this where it's all frayed. And we're going to put some of this black sticky tape on that and uh, cut it so it fits and wrap it around the bottom. So let's get at that and we'll be back to here in a minute. As soon as we get done doing that, we'll show it to you. Okay, now as you can see, we've put that uh, really sticky black tape on there. Now, it blends right in pretty good, but we're going to make sure that we check it down then every time we, every couple times we roll out the slide, we'll want to take a look at it real good. And also, let's turn this other light off here. I don't know if you can see, but, you know, it's stuck on there right below that metal piece too, so. This looks pretty good over here. We're done on this side. We've got to put a piece of tape on the other side of this slide. And then we're going to move to the kitchen slide, which is going to be a little bit harder because it's got, uh, you can't see the rollers or anything. There's a, oh, like a trim piece there that, that's got rubber on it. We're going to probably have to take off. So when we get over there, we'll show you what we're talking about. So let's get at it. Thanks for watching Down the Road We Go. Hope you enjoyed this episode of In the Shop. As always, please subscribe, leave a comment, and let us know if you like the video or not. Thanks for coming along as Down the Road We Go.